Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to concentrate to develop one program on top of the combination of filter as well as map related methods. Okay, filter and map methods of a stream interface. Already, I given some idea on top of these two methods in the previous videos. Filter internally uses one functional interface that is predicate. It is always giving either true or false based on true or false only it will select the element and whatever the element we are giving to the map on top of that element for every input map always generating what here one output. So, let me first let me uh, tell you the scenario later uh, how to use this filter and map methods on top of this scenario. For example, I have one collection object, I have one collection object. In the collection object, I have an elements like 5, 10, 15, I have an object like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, 30, 35. So, like this, I have some elements like a 23. These are my elements. Among these elements, I want to select, first I want to select even numbers. First, I want to select even numbers. So, scenario number 1 condition selecting even numbers, select even numbers. After selecting even number on top of every even number, I want to find out square of the square of the even number. Select the even number. After that, I need to find out the square of the selecting even number. So, how can we perform this type of operation generally in the collection framework. Very simple. Let me take one uh, list object which is going to hold integer data. This is a new array list of integer which is going to hold open and closed which is ended with the open and closed parentheses. This is the syntax of um, object creation. So, let me add some elements like li dot add of li dot add of uh, 5. So, copy this uh, line and paste around like 5 to 6 times yes. Now, the values values are what 10 and after that uh, 15 this is uh, 20 this is 25 and this is the uh, 30 and this is what your 35 and uh, let me take ok let me take this is uh, 23 according to according to our diagram let me take 35 also good. So, my list object is ready. Now, I am taking one more list object for what to store even numbers squares of the even numbers. Let me take that reference variable is li1 new array list of integer new array list of integer open and closed parentheses. Now, here let me write this is integer. Now, generally I want to iterate the element to check whether the element is uh, even or not. For that purpose, what we required iterator, which is going to hold integer data, i equal to li dot iterator method. Good. Now here, I am checking whether the element is there or not. Yes, if it is there, it will give us uh, has next method returns true. Otherwise, it returns what here false. Yes, elements are there. It will returns true. Then I am reading one value. What is that value? I dot uh, next. Now, this I am checking if this value is what uh, even number or not. How can I check? How can I check? See guys, first 5 will read and place into the value. 5 modulus, 5 modulus 2 of 0? No. Next value 10, 10 modulus 2 of 0? Yes. If 10 modulus, uh, 10 modulus 2 of 0, then what happen here? Simply I am find out square of that number into square equal to value into value into value after that I am adding that value to what here value to list very simple code very very simple code observe here and finally let me print let me print system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln li here I am writing like what here li itself 
after that l i 1. Now, observe guys, what type of data do we have in the l i 5, 10, 15, 20, but what type of data do we have in the l i 1, 100, 400, 900, that means first to find out the even numbers from the list and after that find out what your square, those numbers we are added finally into what your l i 1. Now, observe guys, i dot as next means first checking whether the element is there or not sir, element is there. If element is there, first it will pick which element 5, 5 will be placed into where your value, value modulus 2, double equal to 0, no. And i dot next, yes sir, some elements are there. Now, i dot next, as next, it will returns true, why? Already elements are there. Now, i dot next, it will returns value like a 10, 10 placed into where you are here, 10 modulus 2, double equal to 0, yes. So, 10 square, nothing but 100, that I am placed into the square variable and finally, that will add it to what your list. So, instead of performing operation this much of code, how I am going to write very simple code, directly I am going to write list, list of integer l i equal to whatever the data which we have in the whatever the data which we have in the list object data copied into copied by stream method and placed into one stream object on top of this stream object we are calling method like a filter what this filter method will do very simple filter method find out whether the element is whether the element is even or not whether the element is even or, even or not, 5, 5 modulus 2, double equal to 0, no, 10, 10 modulus 2, double equal to 0, yes, if it is a, if it is a double equal to 0, then that uh, 10 will be added to one more stream object, li dot stream is what here, one li dot stream will give us one stream object, in this stream object what we have, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, all the elements are there, but once filter method is executing, entire this statement will give one more stream object, but in that stream object what we have only even numbers. On top of this even numbers, what we are, what I am going to perform, I am perform map operation. On top of the every value, on top of the every value what I am find out, square. On top of the every value what I am find out, square. So, among the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 23, 35, how many elements are eligible for this condition? Only 3. What are those? 10, 20, 30. Those 10, 20, 30 will go and place into where you are x individually. So, 10 square, 100, 20 square, 400, 30 square, what year? 900. So, these values I am collecting from stream object by using the method like a collect and there is a class like what year? Collectors dot to list. And finally, all the data will go and place it into where your list object. Yes. What I am doing? I am reading the data from collection object. Each and every element I am processing. And meanwhile of doing the processing, I am checking the condition whether the element is even or not. If the element is even, then it will...